What is up, nerds? It's me, Jamoka from Sounds Nerdy. And today I have a pair of $25 headphones from McCall that I was taking for a spin. Are they worth it? I'll tell you all that plus more details right after this. All right, welcome back. I have to focus on three areas when I do my headphone reviews. Design and build quality, functionality, which covers features, and of course, the most important aspect is sound. Let's get things started off with the design. The design scheme is a simple color scheme throughout the headphones, except for the branding on the left and right earbuds and the McCall name. In my opinion, the design is just plain and straightforward. Nothing fancy here. There are more color options for you to choose from, but that doesn't override the singular color scheme. The headphones are very flexible and seem pretty durable. I was not at all worried about balling them up or shoving them in my bag without a case. To go along with the straightforward design is the button placement. There are only three buttons to worry about on this device, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I'll get more into the function of these buttons later. All the buttons and the charging port are located on the right side. Buttons are also located conveniently on the outside which grants easy access to them as opposed to the inner side or the top edge of the device, which would be slightly more annoying. Buttons have good size and are easy to use blindly. They are clicky, they have a little pop to them when clicking them to give you confirmation that you press them correctly. Now on to the ear tips. They have a very weird, wonky, unnecessary design in my opinion that I wasn't really fond of. As you can see here, it has a circular piece and then the actual tip that goes in your ear and extending from it. Too much going on for me. I would have preferred just an ear tip to go directly right into my ear. While using them, I did find myself having to adjust them periodically. Also, they also come with two pair of ear tips, which looks to be a large and medium size. I wish there was a small option because I couldn't get a good seal in my ear, which is essential for a pair of earbuds. I really feel like they missed an opportunity by not including a small option. Now onto the neck band. The neck band is actually quite comfortable and sits firmly around your neck. It's almost like you don't even know it's there. So very comfortable design and McCall did a really good job by designing the neck band. Now, in terms of functionality, these are very simple earbuds, so there's not a lot to speak of. But one feature of the earbuds is that it comes with a MMCX plug interface, so you could interchange them with another MMCX interface device. So if you want a different earphone, head, or neck band, you have that option. Pretty cool feature to include for somebody that would be interested in it. I also noticed that they do have a number of other headphones that also have this MMCX interface as well. Now, as mentioned earlier, there are only three buttons. The plus button controls volume up by a short press and the next song by a long press. The power multifunction button uh, controls the play pause and for answering and hanging up calls. The minus button controls volume down by a short press and the next song by a long press. The mic and inner lights are housed next to the buttons as well. These earbuds have a magnet to keep the earbuds together for storing more conveniently. Now the battery takes about two hours to charge and it's expected to last about eight hours on full charge. I was able to achieve anywhere from seven to eight hours on a full charge. So my car did a great job with the battery life on it. These are Bluetooth 4.1, so not quite the distance you would expect from a 5.0 device. I also noticed that in some busy environments, I was getting some interference with my connection from time to time. Now last up is the sound, which is the most important aspect of any headphone, and that could make or break a pair of headphones. The overall sound isn't flat, but just a notch above that. Highs, lows, and mids aren't sharp and hard hitting as you would expect from a more expensive pair of headphones. Bass is decent as well, not too overpowering as some cheaper headphones try to compensate with extra bass. The overall sound is just meh, nothing to get excited about. One good aspect of the sound is the call quality. I took a few phone calls on here and at no time did the person on the other end complain about not being able to hear me. So McCarthy did a good job of nailing that. 
Overall, what can you expect a $25 pair of headphones to give you that you can get in a more premium pair of headphones? $25 is a fair price for these, and I would say a solid buy at that price. Simple design, the MMCX flexible interface, good call quality, and battery life are all pluses. The wonky ear tip design and the lack of a smaller one, the okay sound and simple color scheme are what's holding these back. But again, for $25, it's pretty much what you expect. If you want better sound and quality, you will have to look for something that's a little bit more expensive. That is all I have for you today, folks. I want to thank you for taking the time out to check this video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that subscribe button as well. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we drop new content. I want to thank you once again. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at SNJamoka. You can follow Sound Nerdy on Twitter at Sound Nerdy. Also, check out the website SoundsNerdy.com. All of our content is also posted there as well. We also have a Sound Nerdy membership that you can sign up for. It allows you to compete in the prizes and games that we have during our betting season. Betting season number four will be coming up pretty soon. So if you want to win some prizes, make sure you go to the website and sign up for Sounds Nerdy membership. And until the next video, guys, stay nerdy.